The COVID-19 outbreak has exposed several challenges for the automotive sector. Governments globally are preparing for a broader spread of the virus as major commercial centers have been on lockdown. Areas like South Korea, Italy and Japan are the most affected amongst the major industrialized economies. Consequently, 80% of automotive and related companies report that coronavirus will have a direct impact on the 2020 revenue. Now joining me live to speak on the impact of COVID-19 on the automotive industry in Nigeria is the founder and CEO of Koscharis Group, Cosmos Madka. Good morning, Cosmos. Morning, Adrian. How are you today? Very well, thank you. Thank you for joining us on the news. Uh, can you give us an update on the impact of COVID-19 on the automobile industry? And what was the industry experiencing before the lockdown as well? Um, really, before the lockdown experience, business was as usual. If you recall, in this part of the world, we are living as if coronavirus was never a reality. Um, we wouldn't say sales have been dramatically affected um, uh, prior to that time, you know, automobile industry has been facing a challenge since 2016. Um, one of the industry that was badly hit from um, a market size of close to 200,000 to less than uh, 8,000 in 2017. That is, Nigeria sold less a car than Ghana did. Ghana did 14,000 in the year we did brand new car, uh, 7,000. You know, a couple of many things has been, you know, it's a combination of several things. Exchange rate was devalued. Duty went as high as 90%. So um, usually a car that we used to sell for 40 million became like 111 million or 12 million that it went out of the reach of the people. It took quite some time before people get used to it. Um, you hardly can find product like Toyota Corolla anymore that used to be a working class product because it couldn't find its place anymore because it's now becoming a car of like 30 million or 20 something million. So different kind of product has been uh, taking a um, uh, position. So we, we really haven't been feeling the impact in a dramatic manner before the COVID-19 lockdown. I reckon, because I did a, a number of research work, and then I reckon that this calls for a diversification of one's business portfolio. Absolutely. Uh, that is why companies like us, uh, Koscharis, um, in 2015, we went into rice production uh, in Anambra State, where we cultivate about 3,000 hectares of, uh, of uh, rice. Uh, by 2000 and uh, uh, last year, we also set up a meal that is functional. So uh, it pays off in the sense that during this coronavirus lockdown, our rice business have done tremendously well. In fact, we've sold more rice than we sold in December last year. You know, different people were buying uh, in a very large quantity to share to their community. It was not just on the market sales, or, but even the government and different corporate bodies, we are moving it. So um, it's good to have a, a balanced portfolio as a business person so that you do not put your eggs in one basket. And some of my colleagues were wondering, how could I foresaw this? But it was actually about 30 years uh, business plan that materialized uh, in 2015. So. Uh, it's clearly you can't put your eggs in one basket because those in automobile industry are really badly hit in a time like this. And, uh, how would you describe Nigeria's business structure, particularly for the automobile industry, as this area has a massive potential to create jobs for the youth? Absolutely. A population of close to 200 million people or so, um, if this economy is fixed, and the middle class come on the stream, this is a market any automobile manufacturer of the world want to take a piece of the market size. If you look at South Africa, um, which is 
less than one third of population of this country, every name manufacturer that you can think about have a stronghold in uh, South Africa. Um, today, a lot of people will be surprised to know that formerly all the BMW 3 series that is driven around the world in Japan, in Asia, in uh, all the Asia, in USA, not all the North Americas are produced in South Africa. The same thing with Mercedes C-Class, you know, um, their automobile industry has been a very strong, um, has played a very strong role in their GDP and also uh, opportunity of employment. And uh, this is uh, a chance Nigerian government has missed because there's no clear rail system in this country. So automobile industry, we came close to it in the 70s. But if you look at countries that we are at that level with us, Iran, Iraq, and so many other countries, um, um, Malaysia and the rest, they've left us behind. So our automobile industry has really suffered. Automobile industry should be creating between 10 to 15 percent job that is required in this country. Uh, but totally, we are just taking every used car anywhere in the world, every junk that is not movable. Um, it's also creating business for people who are in uh, after sales business and repair, but you can also know it's not healthy for the life of our people because of the smoke, uh, that the emission that they are putting into the environment, uh, cars that are discarded in Japan and many other places in the world all find their place in this country. So it's, it's a matter of survival. That's the kind of life we are living here. And it's all about readership. Thank, thank you, you so much for your contribution. Cost of time, that's all we can have. But thank you for joining us on the news. Thank you.